All right, hello everyone. Uh, just loading up here real quick. Uh, a little blast from the past for all you uh, old RTS fans out here. Is a game I personally played the crap out of as a kid, and uh, I had this game. And it was another one of those games that uh, I had friends. And let's go ahead and check out this hammy introduction here. Age of Chaos. Age of Chaos. Turn the land into a paradise, did they? Well, that's a good deal. Yes. The orcish hordes then came along, yes. And nobody knows where they came from, but of course we would all soon learn in the sequels. That's a lot of skulls there, huh? Well, it's a good thing they're all rotted away. That would be a lot more disturbing had they had any of their uh, original stuff there. But anyway, so this is uh, the first game here. It's, uh, it's a little dated, but it is still fun to play. And you're going to hear the tagline here. Here it goes. Welcome to the world of Warcraft. How do you like that, huh? It's a pretty good deal there. Um, so anyway, yeah. Uh, of course, it says there, 1994. That's about when I played it on my old Packard Bell. Uh, I did not have this game at first. Uh, my friend had it. He didn't know how to play it, and so he thought it was way lame. And uh, so I figured out how to play it. And then I showed him how to play it, and then he didn't want to let me borrow it anymore. He fell in love with it, and then I had to get my own copy. Same thing happened with colonization. Just goes to show you. Uh, I should have never said anything to him, right? Okay. Test of your abilities. Love that. So this is going to be a standard first mission. Build farms, build barracks, and you win. Uh, occasional enemies will come at you. And all that. It will be a great time, and a great time will be had by all. I just like that buffed out knight there who's just like kind of chewing his chicken bone there. Can't ever quite get it down. Must be a rather grisly piece. And this is kind of neat here. It was neat back then that they had this little map here, and it popped up, and you like zoomed in. Yeah, that was considered to be pretty cool graphics at the time, especially if you're a console gamer like me. You will be initially taken, I'm going to speed this up just a, just a hair here. Um, let's see, key scroll, key scroll. I don't know what key scroll means. Maybe that means this here. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's what it means. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, so we can immediately build a new peasant here. Uh, one thing about this is... Uh, there's a few rules here that you would not understand if you played only Warcraft 3 or if you played only Warcraft 2 and that would be all your structures must be built along the road. So that's that's one thing that's uh, a way different. Uh, the other part is, uh, what's the other part here? Make it center, that's good. Um, so that's another thing. Um, uh, you could build walls, which is kind of neat. Ah, we need more farms, so we're going to build a farm with this guy as soon as he pops out here. BF. Yeah. The hotkeys are still more or less pretty predictable, so not too bad. Uh, music here, this song I believe is in the second one as well. Or maybe it's not, but it's definitely there with the I'm a Medieval Man kind of mashup song, which is pretty sweet. Um, you can't build any more than one town hall, and I suppose you could destroy your town hall, but I think you've got to build, you would need to build another road. And the other gold mines are not like close. Like they're not close to where you're doing stuff. So it, it's a little bit of a, a pain in the butt, you might say. Um, so I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't, I've never done it myself, and I'd like to say I've never known anybody who does it, but then again, I didn't have a lot of friends who like to play this game. It was kind of a, you know, an RTS game, something new, and most people aren't into this kind of thing. Although my friend who I taught how to do it, he certainly got into it. There's no doubt about that. All right, let's go ahead and cut some trees, build more. This is an extremely limited gold mine. 
so we will actually need to go out and claim another gold mine. Uh, once again, like I said, we can't build a town hall close to the gold mine, uh, which is going to make this take a little bit longer than perhaps we'd like it to. Uh, but that's the way this game is played. Uh, and so we've got to acclimate ourselves to these rules. But yeah, this is a pretty slamming track right here as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so let's cut some more lumber because we can't build any more damn uh, what's-his-faces without it. We will eventually need to go out there. I think raiders do come in occasionally. Uh, they are s set on the map in certain places. And so when we run across them, we will end up uh, joining. Yeah, see, like right there. There we go. There we go. We got him boxed in real nice. Uh, it usually doesn't go that, uh, that smoothly. You know, so I'm pretty happy about how that all went down. All right, get these guys on trees. Trees take longer because... They need to do, you know, obviously go there, cut it down, and bring it back, as opposed to just jumping into the gold mine. Apparently, mining is pretty easy work, according to Warcraft. There, although I would say probably not so easy in real life. And you can see I'm taking all my forces over here. Probably not the smartest thing of all time, but it's definitely something I'm gonna do. All right, so we're gonna have him move over here. Oh, good. I can get him to stop that way. And let's build our barracks. No, not enough lumber? Okay. Sorry about that. I thought we had enough lumber. How much do we need? 500. King's Ransom. Oh, now we got enough. What do you want? Oh, that's not very nice. You shouldn't talk to me like that. You called me a liege before. Now you're calling me, hey, like, what do you want? It's the cool thing is he didn't get in the way of my building. Yes. He wasn't allowed to keep moving after I decided yes. to uh, start construction. All right. Yes. Yeah, there goes our gold mine. But luckily, here's another one, conveniently located, yes. really far away. Yes. But that's okay. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes. Ah, we got an enemy. Yes, my lord. Yes. And uh, these guys here, spearmen, of course, they can attack from a distance, but their armor is lighter, and therefore they are more easily uh, killed when confronted with a heavier unit like a footman. Okay, very good. Ooh, don't go that way. You might run into a one yes. might run into a one on one type situation. Don't go that way, go this way. Alright, good. The good part of course is now we have plenty of or at least we you know, we don't have plenty of anything, but we have the ability to um uh, whoa, 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 what do we got going on here? That's not good. Man, that's gonna be bad news bears right there. I uh, killed one of my dudes. And unfortunately... Oh! A uh, dude! Oh, that was bad. So he'll be able to kill him just by the fact that he has more energy than him. But uh, that was a rather uh, bad showing. Uh, for me. Uh, because I lost a couple of peasants in that which is not really what we're going for here. Uh, but you can see how uh, you guys can wander off and get, your, get themselves into trouble. So he's only good to take a hit, and he's only good to take like half a hit. So uh, you might guess we've got to retrain our workforce here because that one dude is not going to do it for us. And we need to go ahead and get some money together. But we probably will need another footman who... It's 400 bucks, but uh, not so bad. Not so good either. But we're gonna need a fresh dude uh, because these two dudes between them could get overrun by one attacker, which is certainly a realistic scenario uh, in this level. Uh, nobody said I was gonna do great at this either. Just, uh, just in case you were wondering, like, how come he's uh, so crap? That's why. All right, good. Now we're a little bit, in a little bit better shape here. Uh, but not in much better shape because gold, gold, uh, the gold standard, uh, gold-wise, we're sitting pretty crap. Um, and of course, as I said, that gold mine's a little off. So because it's a ways off, it uh, we're not gonna be able to accumulate the gold very quickly. Um, and yes, I'd like to train some more peasants, but I'd also like to get another footman with full energy. We can't heal our people, and they don't auto-heal uh, at all. 
until we get, uh, what's his face? Until we get clerics, and that's not gonna be for quite a few missions, I'm sorry to tell you, is that when somebody's hurt, they stay hurt. Which is kinda sad, because I hate to bring the guy with, like, no energy out there on the field to do battle, when I know, like, next hit and he's dead, you know? Kinda sad. Uh, but anyway, uh, we need three more farms, and we're gonna get those three more farms, uh, hopefully. And hopefully we won't run into any more enemy opposition. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, well, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I remember I had a heck of a time with this game um, when I played it uh, as a kid. And I remember it was the Sunnyvale level that threw me way the heck off. That was a tough level for me. I had a pretty hard time with that. But I eventually... Uh, was able to figure that out and catapults are a real game breaker when we eventually get them we will be in fine shape let's go ahead and just have him go get some more yeah. gold because uh, lumber we're sitting in good enough I can't remember how much lumber maybe we need how much lumber do we need let me take a look real quick uh, 300 so we will need a little bit more lumber but for now I'm okay with just kind of getting the gold together to build some more farms and I think after he's done nope I need 500 gold to build a farm dang farms are expensive what the hell well in any case and the game doesn't play by the same rules as you play by which is unfortunate yeah. <clears throat> the AI is not very good a few two people run into each other as you can see they kind of stop to have a little conversation with each other and say oh pardon me no pardon me you know, very polite people of Azeroth, uh, but it's not very helpful to me, of course. Uh, their politeness. All right, so we continue through. All right, go ahead, give me, give me a little more wood here. I need one more um, bundle of lumber to be able to completely finish uh, this map here. Don't want to belabor this. We could go around and kill some more guys. This is another gold mine. It, you know, if you would need another gold mine, which seems unbelievable since there's 8,400 uh, gold pieces in that one. Uh, so it doesn't seem like that would be something that would be necessary. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, you can see, there you go. You got your roads and then, uh, like I said, eventually they'll let you build walls, which uh, can be kind of good. Um, I don't think I mentioned it yet, but the uh, range units in this game are way stronger than what you'd see in Warcraft 2 and Warcraft 3. Like, if you've got a number of fully uh, upgraded archers or spearmen, you'll be able to just tear through enemy armies. Uh, of course, that'll all kind of go by the wayside after catapults come into it, though, because uh, archers tend to get their position, they take their position, and they shoot. Uh, making them stationary as they're shooting. And that, of course, is not really uh, a good deal because, and I actually didn't need that lumber, that's kind of a waste, but whatever. Uh, because the catapult, uh, what the catapult is shooting can be dodged, but the least likely uh, unit to dodge it are archers who are already shooting because they're, they're, they're not gonna move from their position, they're gonna continue to attack. Whereas footmen, you might get a little lucky because the footmen will uh, uh, be moving in towards attacking something. An advancing footman or a knight towards a catapult uh, will most likely not get hit because they're moving and uh, all that jazz. So there we go. Very nice. And that should be it. Yeah, we're victorious. Okay, let me save. I already did save, but it didn't work. So if you can believe it, I actually played another game. You can barely hear that guy, huh? Anyway, gave as good as we got three and three. And so I'll see you for the next game. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.